this is a sealed bottle with some soda in it and the soda has been sitting there for a while so some of the carbonation has gone off and created some pressure inside the bottle which has prevented more of the carbonation from coming out and what we're going to do is just release some of the pressure and see what happens so we're just going to unscrew this And you can see a little burst, you might have been able to see a little burst of bubbles. And we're going to close in and see, and you can see some bubbles happening, forming. And this is a process called heterogeneous nucleation. And you can see these little bubbles growing. And as they get bigger, the buoyant force causes them to detach from the bottle and then go up to the surface. And so you have this kind of continuous process of these bubbles forming. Now, the surfaces here are fairly smooth, and so they're not the ideal surface to get heterogeneous nucleation or to promote it. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a piece of chalk in here, which is very porous, and see what that does. Okay, and you can see a, a good burst here of carbonation. And now you can see there's a whole lot more action going on, a lot more bubbles forming. And so the chalk is acting as a good surface for heterogeneous nucleation. So now we're going to close in on the chalk and see what we can see. And so what you can see is that there are a lot of bubbles coming off of the chalk. So the chalk is porous, it has a lot of surface area, um, and all of these surfaces act as easy nucleation sites. Uh, for the carbonation. So the thing to remember here is this is not like an air stone you might have in, the, in a fish tank where you're pumping air through and that air is generating uh, bubbles. What's happening here is there is air in solution in the water and the chalk is making it easier for the air to come out of solution. It's acting as a site for heterogeneous nucleation and you can see that once we have the chalk in there, you get a lot more bubble generation and when you have this porous, rough surface, as opposed to the very smooth sides of the bottle. So again, these bubbles will continue for quite some time until most of the carbonation has gotten out of here and, and your soda is now very flat. And so, again, we've used chalk as a site for heterogeneous nucleation. I have to say, that, you know, given all the technology we have in the classroom nowadays, it's nice to know that chalk is still useful for something.